Here's this week's My Boat feature. We love hearing from you, the viewers, as to what you like seeing on My Boats and our DIY projects. And something we've heard is that sometimes the projects are just too big for the, the novice boater to try and take on. So this week on My Boat, we have something that just about anyone can do. We're gonna install LED strip lighting around the rear bench seating area of this Sea Ray Sundancer. And Go Green Marine has made it really straightforward. The Go Green Marine package has five meters of water resistant lighting that can live anywhere, indoor or out. It also contains the transformer, some wiring, and a remote. If you're able to, clear the space just to give yourself extra room to work. Luckily here, the two large sections come right out. On this install, we have these ledges for the bench seating that serves as our ceiling, so that's where the initial strip level will be. Using tape to mark that height will help keep you on the right line. The easiest way to measure out how much you want is just to unfurl the roll itself and tape the lights in the path you want. Like any project, even if they're really straightforward, you might have some hiccups. What we run into here is this big speaker. Now, it's 136 inches to here. We could just run over top of it because it's, you know, the strip lighting easy to do, but we don't want to do that. And luckily, we don't have to. The way this new strip lighting is designed, you can easily cut it, extend it over or around any obstruction you have, and keep on going. So that's what we're gonna do. The cutting has been made very simple. Every few inches, the sections have dotted lines across the connectors and just use everyday scissors to cut right along that line. But once you have it like this, you have a few options. You can leave it as a standalone strand, just put silicone at the end and that's sealed off, that's done. Or you can have connectors, L-shape for example, to go around a corner, or what we're gonna do, have some wire, extend between the two so we can jump over actually around that speaker. And this strand will work in tandem with this one. Carefully peel back just enough of the thick clear rubber cover and snip that off. The exposed section will be covered with the connector. Unclasp the plastic covering and those four metal shoes are what you're gonna slide the four copper spots under. To hook it up, first place where you want the transformer to mount so you're not putting extra strain on the wires. In this case, we're connecting it to the underwater lights, so that means drilling a hole to access those wires in the engine room. Then, fish the wires through the hole. Here we have wires already running, so we can just zip tie them along the same path, which can be frustrating to reach at times, but otherwise it's straightforward. Add the terminal ring to it, crimping it tight. Then use a small shrink tube to keep that sealed up watertight and screw it into a negative bus bar to ground it. To keep all the wires together and to keep them from flopping around, using screw-in zip ties with short screws is a big help. Use a connector to add the LED lights to the existing wires for the underwater lights and it'll all be on the same existing switch. Now you have one final step, connecting the ground and power wires to the transformer. So strip the ends off all wires, then using connectors, attach the red to red and black to black, crimp it and shrink tube it. Hold the transformer where you want and drill pilot holes. Put some silicone over the holes to keep any water out, and then it's just two small screws to hold it in place. Plug in your power connection and connect to the strand itself using the arrows to line up the right way to connect. Once everything is all connected, crimped and covered with shrink tubing, you can pop in one of the mini 5 amp fuses to complete the circuit. Now that you're wired in, and if you're 100% happy with where your light strands are, run a thin strip of silicone along the top and bottom for some extra stick and extra protection when you're hosing off the walls and floors. And once that all dries, all that's left is testing it out. Success! The remote gives 20 preset colors and also flash and fade options so you can customize your party. Though waiting until it's dark to get the full effect is worth the time. This is two out of five in terms of difficulty and that's only because of some basic wiring, but nothing a novice can't handle.